Okay, I'd like to tie a CDC transitional midge. Um, this is a Rene Harp design. Um, it's, it's designed to imitate a midge uh, that's coming out of its nymphal shuck or a midge that's um, a cripple because can't get out of the shuck. Notice he has a trailing shuck in the back. It has a CDC carapace and legs and head um, which makes this fly float very well on the surface film. And the body is made of either a dubbing material or a tying thread. Um, I'm going to use a tying thread in my pattern. Um, Rene likes to tie this on a um, TMC 100 hook. Um, I'm going to tie it, in, and he uses a size 20. I'm going to tie it on a size 18. <coughs> this is similar to a 2488. Um, my 18 um, is a 2x shark shank so if you compare it to the TMC 100 size 20 notice the shanks are about the same length the difference of course the gape is longer bigger than mine and my hook shank is just a little bit heavier not a whole lot than the 100 <coughs> I'm going to tie this using a black Vivas 12 odd start the thread about an eye length behind the eye and come down the shank. <coughs> okay, for the trailing shuck, I'm going to be using some grizzly hackle, some very small, the points of this, the tips. Okay, I'm going to measure this, the length of the shank. And I'm going to tie it in with a soft wrap. Then I'm going to put that hard wrap. This should bring it over on top of the hook shank. Okay, I'm going to capture my hackle down the shank. <coughs> clip off the excess. Then I'm going to bring my thread back to a point on the shank that's right above the tip. <coughs> For the body, I'm going to be using some CDC natural puffs. I'm using a light, and I like to use the light because I can see it a lot better in the water. Um, I'm going to reach into this pack, and I'm going to try to pull out the longest plume that I can find. Okay, when I look at it, I got a couple of them here. Okay, when I look at it, I want to make sure the shorter pieces are gone. And I've got nothing but longer here. I got a couple shorties right here. Okay. Bring this together a little bit, make it easier to work with. I'm going to wet it. If it dries, it won't be a problem. And I got another smart, sharp one here. Need to get rid of it. Okay, I'm going to tie this with the butt end forward, and I'm going to go slightly over the end of the eye with the tip. And I'm going to put in a pinch wrap to hold it in place. And then I'm going to lift it up, build a small dam here, so this CDC puff doesn't work forward. Okay, we'll come behind it, form our body, and notice the body is being formed out of the thread. Not a very big body, keep in mind that this is usually tied on a 100, shank is not very long. We'll make sure we've got everything covered. Okay, then we'll come back up, lift up our tip, and bring our thread in front. Okay, I'm going to take a pair of scissors, my scissors, and clip off the very tip. <coughs> then I'm going to try to separate these into two sacks, one on each side of the shank.
with them a little bit helps in the separation. Okay, I want to bring my thread one more time in front. <coughs> Looks like I got a few more on the far side here than I do on the near side. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to go in, in the middle, clip out just a few. <coughs> then I'm going to take my other end of this plume and pull it forward. I want to make sure I get my trailing shuck out of there so it's back there trailing. Okay, I'm going to hold it. Well, it's what happens when you get a real sharp plume. It's hard to work with. The longer the plume you have, the easier it is to work with. Trim up some of these plume that I didn't get to come over. Okay. Take our whip finish. down, clip our thread, and clean it up some more. Okay, let's go on the underside. Pull them out. And we'll clip anything that we may have had there. And I'm going to cut off the head. Okay, we can get a few more stragglers here that we can clean up. Looks like there's one on top here. Okay. And there we have CDC Transitional Midge.